the whole process is that we need to build a, a rocket that'll go above a thousand feet and deploy a Mars rover that's supposed to then land on the ground and take a soil collection sample in a removable container and then take a picture of what it just did and then transmit it all back to a little handheld device. So we're here now and it hit a 1,328 feet as a max altitude, give or take about five, six feet based on the tolerances of the barometric pressure sensor. It actually had a max speed of a 276 feet per second at, a, at its best. The AV bay drifted the farthest and that was a 1.3 miles from a, where we actually launched it from. So this is part of the Virginia Aerospace Technology Club. It's a chapter of the National Association of Rocketry, which was formed shortly after the Sputnik launches to, to interest America's youth in rocketry. We're seeing a rebirth of the same sort of interest here. And I think part of it is, is spurred by this desire to, to land rockets on, uh, on Mars and explore it. First step for me was to go find an advisor. And I always had in the back of my mind, I wanted Carl Squire to be my advisor. Thought I was gonna do some sort of like active noise cancellation headphones, but uh, we're entering the uh, Battle of the Rockets Mars Rover competition. He said that this would be a lot more fun, and honestly, I think this is a lot more fun. This part of the test, what we're testing today, is just the first phase of this, which is the, the rocket portion of it. We're launching a, it's about a 55 pound rocket, 1,000, 1,200 feet in the air and we're testing its recovery systems, and we're also testing some of the robot locomotion systems. I, I wouldn't have this opportunity if it weren't for uh, VMI and Colonel Squire, so I'm, I'm just grateful for that and the honors program in itself for allowing me to come to VMI and have the experience.